kids, thanks for joining me for another week of take and make picnic theme crafts. So today we're going to learn how to make a paper weaving placemat. I love this. It kind of reminds me of maybe a picnic tablecloth. So we're just going to make it a small placemat size so you can use it under your play picnic or for under your food bowl, but also it's great to learn how to weave. This is great for your finger dexterity, getting ready to go back to school, and we're going to be writing a lot more. So this is great for your fingers. This one is, I will show you how to make this, is a curved weaved placemat. So this is great for maybe a little bit older kid who already knows how to do this. So I already have weaved the paper through this and trimmed all of these edges on both sides and I glued them down on both sides. Just the edges so they don't pop up. So it looks good on both sides. This one has a little bit more of a pattern of a paper but you can see the curved lines. And now I started this one and this one has straight lines. So now if I hold them side by side, you can see the difference, right? This is straight lines, this is curvy lines. So this one I started weaving the paper through and now when you do any sort of weaving, you always wanna do every row opposite. So this one I did under, then I started here over, under, over, under, over, under, over. So where are we gonna start with this last strip that I'm gonna show you? That's right, if you said under, you're correct. So that means start under the bottom of the first strip. And now we're gonna go over, under, over, under, over, under. And you can pull it, you can have them spaced out however you like. So figure that out before you cut off the ends and glue those on. So I have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. And so everybody is gonna get 10 strips with theirs. So you can make it look however you want. So we can do one more. And how are we gonna start on this one? Since we started under, we'll start over. So over, under, over, under. And you know what? If you mess up, just take it out and start it over again. And there we're done with that. So our next step here would be to cut off any extra edges. So we'll just take a little pair of scissors on each one and cut it as close as you can. And you can see on this one, I have different kinds of paper. I have torn paper and I have straight edge paper. So I'll do that, pull this out on this side doesn't matter what you use. If you don't like the paper that came in your kit that you picked up from the library, uh, something that would be easy to do, how about tearing magazine pages? So go the long way down the page and just rip it. Or maybe you have extra scrapbook paper or some extra construction paper, you can cut strips. So now I've cut that, make sure it looks good on both sides and then you're gonna, you can glue these little pieces down. So just take a glue stick and press those down so they don't stick up. And then the last thing that I wanted to show you is how to cut the lines in your paper because it is gonna come with just a plain sheet of construction paper and 10 strips of paper of any kind. So you can use scissors, older kids or adults only. So you have to get approval because you wouldn't know where this is, is little razors. And this is for cutting the lines. So when you cut the lines to make your weave, you wanna leave about a half inch on each side of the paper. So I'm gonna show you how I use all of these tools and how I do the different cuts. So if you're using a ruler, you're gonna to wanna to space everything about an inch apart. And remember, leave a half inch on each side. So let's see, let's get that right under there so you can see it. So I'm gonna show you how to use this one and you just butt it right up against your ruler, start about a half inch down, and there you go. 
And now you put the ruler up against that line. And if we were gonna use this as a different tool, same style, you know, different style, but a razor blade, half inch down, and go down to about a half inch. So that goes all the way through, nice and straight. Now, if you can only use scissors, still, I think young children need to be supervised. The adults can do this part. You want a pointy pair of scissors, hold the paper, and you just wanna do a little poke down. And you can see I have a little piece of cardboard here so I don't scratch anything. And now you can cut it and go straight up. And they don't have to be perfect. If they're not straight, you're not gonna see it by the time you weave the paper in. So just cut all the way up. Remember, don't cut through the end, then your paper will fall through. So those are the straight lines, and that's for this one. If you wanna get a little more adventurous and you wanna do the curvy lines, then you're gonna start here at the bottom again and poke your hole through. And we're just gonna do waves. So you can make it any way you want it. it takes a little time so you don't tear the paper. So it's not about the strips of paper that are going through that are making the waves. It's about how your base paper is cut. So you see that? And now we're gonna make another one about an inch apart and we're gonna do the same, roughly the same wave pattern. So I didn't do straight and wavy in one piece of paper. I did either or. So this one is all wavy lines and it's gonna end up looking like this. This is all straight lines, so maybe you want to try both. So just pick up two kits, or maybe you have enough supplies at home that you can do this. Construction paper, 10 strips of paper, uh, some scissors, and a little bit of glue stick to glue on the ends right here. So have fun with your play placemat, and if you picked up last week's craft, this can be your little play area for your little walking ant. So I thought this was really cute. They go well together. So I hope you're having fun with our picnic themed crafts and I'll see you again for another picnic surprise next week. Bye.